On February 24th, 2019, Isaac Ruffin left his mother's apartment on foot at about 10 p.m. Isaac was seen on surveillance video along the tracks near to the 47th Street trolley station before he arrived at a friend's apartment. After Isaac left his friend's apartment, he walked out onto the street and was shot at several times. One bullet struck Isaac, mortally wounding him. The phone call I got was the next day, actually. Um, his mother called me and said he didn't come home. And I was puzzled, you know, blown away, like, what do you mean didn't come home? And she said she got a call from the police department saying that they need to talk to a reference Isaac. So at that point, we started panicking, thinking, obviously something bad had happened. But it wasn't what we, we didn't imagine, you know, that he had been shot. The forensic evidence available to us at the scene has not yet led to the identity of the suspect. We are confident the people who live near the scene in the Creekside Apartments likely know the full story of what happened that night. His impact of his death has been, you know, traumatic on all of us, you know. It's unexpected, you know, and his sister, brother, distraught. Um, more than anything, you know, so many questions, you know, as to why, you know, something senseless like this take place when he wasn't involved in any gang activity. He was very non-confrontational, never been in a fight that I can remember even throughout high school. So this is very shocking. If someone knows or got information about this, I would like for them to come forward just cause it's the right thing to do. Um, it would help us tremendously to at least have some answers to all our questions, you know, of why and how and bring the people to justice that did this so they no longer could do this to another family.